Hello everybody. Day one of your five day Christmas. We're going to be scoring a piece of animation and showing you how to get into all this. And then if you want to, you can click the little link underneath this and uh, you'll be sent an email which will give you some video to score and some more free tutorials. So this is our sort of, it's like day one of a five day um, Christmas stocking. How much fun is that? What else could you possibly want on this rather weird time of the year? Look, what we've got, um, let me get straight into this before we, uh, so I don't uh, waste any time because we've got lots to tell you. Okay, so um, here is a little piece of animation. It's a very simple sequence of a animated character falling downstairs. So we're going to be looking at how you write to picture doing this. It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. Okay, so it's King Cracker to you. So he's a baddie. Present. He's a sort of comedy baddie. Yes. Um, these are all all these characters in this uh, animation are um, pieces of food. It's just <laughs> okay, a little so cold, Prince Cracker. You can see. There we go. It's so. King Cracker to you, peasant. And then and it's he. Not just a little cold. <laughs> okay, classic animated slapstick. None of it's happening to me. <laughs> right, that's what we're going to score. So, the first thing you do. Um, let me just show you, we've got um, the movie imported into Cubase. Um, if you want to, you, you'll see it's, those of you with good eyesight, will see it's saying 10 uh, 2703 That's the time code. Every frame of the picture is time coded so that you've got a really unambiguous way of talking to the production company about, so you say, well, what do you want me to do at 10.00.28.20? Not the little bit where he's talking, because that can get really confusing, and so time code is vitally important. Uh, in Cubase, the easiest way to set your time code is uh, this, bear with me, non-Cubase users. Okay, so this is currently 09.59.59.17. If you go to project, set time code at cursor, click on that uh, and oh it's done clever stuff it's read the time code off the screen so it knows that that's what it is so you go okay and now the time code is all uh, set do you see that little white flash there and that beep it's called a two pop and what it does is it allows the audio post people to sync up very accurately your music. So you put a, t uh, a two pop on like that, a frame, of, a single frame of 1 kilohertz tone going beep, like that, and then they can line up your music accurately with the, uh, with the film and the picture. Because if you just say, oh, my music starts at whatever the time code is, and your music comes in gently like that. No, they don't know where gently starts. So a nice <laughs> helps them through it. Okay, let's get into this little... Um, we're just going to take a tiny part of the sequence. Now, don't instantly start um, with the click and tempos and things like that. Turn the click off, look at the sequence, and just feel in your, in your spirit <laughs> what kind of uh, uh, music... Hear it in your head. Don't get to obsessed with the you know the sync too early you've just got to get the the music's got to speak to the picture so just run hey, the thing see he's what it's the one saying. who's doing this to me ah, who? eggy how magic he's got that mark on his shell the same one the wizard had okay <laughs> no that's too late he's for already done his falling down we want him to do his falling down thing okay so let's okay so here's uh the beginning of the scene is back here yeah, you simply must do something, Ernest. It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. So actually, right at the start, we want to go. We want something which is going to introduce comedy baddie, sort of. Ooh, that's a bit loud, isn't it? Okay. It's going to go along those lines, but it's not going to be that. Okay, may well maybe. Okay, let, 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 I tell you what. Let's. I'm just going to smash stuff in. Um, just so you can see the kind of thing I'm thinking about. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you! You simply must do something, Ernest. It's just a little cold, please. So you can start with a sort of introductory, almost, not quite a fanfare, but it's sort of uh, uh, introducing the baddie. 
and then we gotta do something. Yeah. Okay, so this is where we're going to introduce the baddie. We gotta do something. Yeah, you. you simply must do something, Ernest. It's just a little cold. Then you're going to get into something else. So, um, and I haven't even thought. What we I'm hearing here is let's bring up a second layer of. Uh, something I can play with to get the gist. I often put it literally kind of a little a line down like this just to sort of as a marker almost because then I can go back and start fixing things later and make it right. Okay, a little bit pizzicato is always a we good We gotta do something! Yeah, you. you simply must do something, Ernest! It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. Ah -hoo. It's King Cracker to you, peasant. And it's not just a little cold. Yahoo! Okay. Now, that had a rhythm to it. We gotta do something! Yeah, you! You simply must do something, Ernest. It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. Yahoo! 140 BPM, just by pure chance, was what was in there. And it fits. We it's not far off. Yeah, you. you simply must do something, Ernest. Too quick. It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. Ah, right. It's so the first thing, the first hit point we're looking at is when he slips. There. Dong, that's it. He sneezes and goes. Now, again, when you're looking at this stuff, you've really got to be careful about exactly when he goes. Because when you're going through frame by frame, sometimes it looks like he goes in one place and he doesn't. Okay, so are we going to put... I'm going to put a marker in there. It's, it, that's going to be too early. Uh, uh, there. Okay, let's say there as the marker. Uh, now, we've got to have a marker channel, which we haven't got yet. So we're going to add a marker track. Here it comes. Hello, marker track. The marker track is just like a kind of memo. It says this is where things happen. So you can actually got a visual reference to it. And the thing, do you see this thing here? And um, um, this little note icon. And you get this in this essentially the same idea in Logic Pro Tools, all the rest of it. What it's saying is um, that the this is currently dealing with stuff in uh, musical terms. In other words, if I speed up and slow down the tempo, that marker will still stay at whatever it is. Um, in terms of beats and bars, the downbeat of 23. Um, if I turn it to time code, as I change the tempo, the marker will move. Now, as we can see, and I think I explained this last week actually, but I'll just do it again quick. Whoa, is that bang on? And it's not just a little Sometime, cold. two, three, yeah. four, four. Pwo. <laughs> okay. You're going to think this is all set up, and it's, and it's not. It's just sometimes little coincidences. This is my present to myself, a little coincidence which makes life easier. So I didn't have to do anything to make it work. Now, the next thing I'm going to have to do, though, it, depending on whether I want to hit each of these as he tumbles down the stairs, which being kind of slapstick, probably I do bonk, bonk. There we go. I'll have one there. You just drop in little markers. Oh, no, I see what's happening. Okay, take it away. Uh, I've got it snapping to the grid. That was stupid. Right, so let's put... But it is more or less right. Chunk. Chunk. So that's the first one. It wasn't a present to myself. It was me being stupid. Okay. Uh, what is he's banging his head? Bonk. There. And now he's going... Next impact is going to be there. And there. Now, and bonk. Bonk, there we go. Now, I can, uh, if we see these up here, you can see they're kind of, they're not really on the beat. So hang on, what do I want to do? If I want that downbeat of that bar to move to the left, it means that I've got to squash more beats into a shorter space of time, so I'm going to increase the tempo. So as I increase the tempo, watch the little markers go to the right. Okay, ready? Increase tempo, go. Increase tempo, go. Okay, too much. You sometimes only need to make a tiny adjustment. As I was saying last time. Okay, well look. 
Those are never going to fall bang on every beat, and you don't really. You can just. It's actually better if it's kind of slightly off beat. Do 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 do. But you do need to know where they are. So now we've done that. Let's get back and finish scoring this thing because I'm going to. As I said, this is super quick. We're not going to spend hours doing this. Um, so we're going to come in back here somewhere. Uh, right. So the first thing which is going to happen. So the the start of the scene is four is the downbeat of is beat three. Okay, that's pretty close. So let's add a signature track because I want to put in a bar of two four. Where's the time signature? There it goes. Hello, time signature. Hello, guy. Happy Christmas. Oh, thank you. I wondered if you were going to say Happy Christmas. Yeah, well, I just thought I'd be friendly. That's very nice of you. Thank you. So we're going to have a bar of two four. Why are you doing that? And um, because if I put in a bar of two four there. It doesn't matter where it, I, as long as I'm putting a bar of two four somewhere before beginning it, it means that bonk the downbeat of fifteen is going to be the start of this sequence. Oh, that's a bit clever. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Thought you'd like that. Right. I'm talking to myself. I'm getting time signatures to talk to me. There is an argument that I'm spending too much time in my shed by myself. Oh yes, there is. Right here we go. So, so we're going to do this. Here we go. Oh, start. Actually, it fades through earlier. That's fine. That's fine. You simply must do something, Ernest. It's just a little cold. Okay. Now we're going to have another line, and this time it's going to be low brass in the second one. Uh, oh, no, that's the... Okay, so that one there is pits. Pits. And this one down here is going to be low brass. Uh, uh, so boom, 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 type thing. Uh, to do we get any marks for being massively original today? No, we do not. Uh, we do we get marks for being massively quick today? Yes, we do, because that's the idea. Okay, let's go for a trombone ensemble. That'll do. <laughs> Bass trombone trombone. Uh, what have we got? Horn ensemble bear. Okay, look, look, we'll go with this for the moment. This this will do fine. Okay, so. You simply must do something, Ernest. It's just. Okay, so that's um, a start. So we want to. That's implying, you know, sort of. I'm an evil geezer. Um, actually, uh, let me just, I could do with a synth in here, actually. Uh, let's get, so I don't want it to sound completely, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm doing this as quickly as is humanly possible. This is a, a set of stuff which I'm going to do a proper review on very, very soon. It's the UVI Legacy um, plug. It, they, it's just insanely huge uh, number of absolutely incredible, uh, incredible vintage synth recreations. How about dual unison? Let's give that a go. That is gorgeous. That's what I want. And here's another thing I'm going to be doing a review of soon. Uh, my new favourite reverb, um, Cinematic Rooms. Absolutely astoundingly good. And uh, right, let's get let's get an ascend going. There we go, because we want that big. bit more of that okay that'll do right now let us lay some of that under this and I can't even daydream about okay here we go we gotta do something yeah, you. you simply must do something Ernest it's just a little cold now the the point of only doing it over that beginning um, is that we've got to translate we've got to transition into something which is going to go underneath the um, underneath the dialogue so what I'm going to do is put more of a fade on that we gotta do and something. then go into a sort of yeah, you. You simply must 
do something, Ernest. It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. <laughs> it's King Cracker to you, peasant. And it's not just a little cold. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, it's sort of fit. Okay. What I'm going to try is um, it nearly fitted. And maybe if I just knock the whole long, lot along by a beat, it's going to fit at the end. Where's my... Okay. Just a little cold. Yahoo! Knock it along another beat. Just a little cold. Yahoo! That fits. Now, what happens at the beginning? A lot of writing to picture is shuffling. Ernest, it's just a little cold. Prince Cracker. That works perfectly. <laughs> it's King Cracker to you, peasant. And it's not just a little cold. <laughs> okay, right, we're in business. Um, now we want to add something else in here, which is going to. Uh, actually, let's just go for another one of these. I wonder if I can find one in here which is kind of like theremin y type. Not theremin, but. Okay, what shall I look for? Uh, the, the, I mean, as I say, we're going to do... I don't want to take too much because I really want to do them properly because it's... Uh, and do a synthwave track or something like that. Okay, right, let's... I'm looking for... Uh, baby Bell. Wow, this is loud. Hang on. Well, it's not loud, guy. You've got to turn up too much. Oh, is that an option? You can turn it down. Yes, you can turn it down. Look, there you go. I don't... I'm, okay, come on, let's find... Let's find... Let's find uh, I okay, that is a nice retro sound. That is very Pet Shop Boys, circa 1986. <sighs> <laughs> it's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. <laughs> It's nearly, nearly there. It's not quite there. It's not quite there. Uh, I want something similar to that, but not that. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, guy. You can do it. You can do it. I want something a bit shorter. No. Ha! Ah! Fun, but no. Okay, keyboard. It's so close. Ooh, oh. This is very dull. I'm a king court. Okay, I'm just going to choose something in a minute. And soft plug. Okay, I'm going to choose that. It's not quite right. Uh, I went okay. Now let me just get in there and see how much control I've got over the actual synth sound song. Quite a lot. That's better. Uh, where's my... Where has the cut off gone? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, this is so frustrating. This is exactly the kind of thing which is really frustrating. People sit there and say, I can see the cut off knob and you can't. Okay, but where is it? Where is it? Uh, death. Uh, uh, it's a bit of a but a tremolo. Oh, tremolo. Drive. Try that. Ernest, it's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. <laughs> it's King Cracker to you, peasant. And it's not just a little cold. 
okay that worked perfectly and I'm now going to render it pushing my render button uh, on my stream deck so that I and now have it. It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. Ah, it's King Cracker to you, peasant. And it's not just a little cold. Ah, okay, so now, what are we going to do with this? Uh, okay. I'm really sorry, that was really loud. Hello, Piano Tech. Hello. Um. We definitely don't... I love the upright. Particularly for things like that. You know. Do you want a Steinway to help you fall downstairs? Or a honky-tonk? Now, one way of doing this. Cheaty way of doing this. If you're doing it uh, in a door. Uh, right, so we need to... Okay, we're going to the falling downstairs sequence. Uh, let's put the start part there. And open it up so I can see it. So we've got one... Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to start by just playing sort of five random notes, and they won't be in time. That's too harmonic. Right, now, having played that, we now go in there and create some weird chord out of these. And then, by hand, I line them up. Okay, then let's do them all at once. Uh, so we want... Right, now, other than the fact there's... Uh, a whack and a half too much uh, reverb on there. Let me just take that off because actually the piano set doesn't need any on at all for this particular thing. Right, now what we do, as I say, this is the cheaty bit. Um, we just line it up with the markers and it's all going to be fine. Uh, so I'm going to get my marker track up. Where's my markers gone? Okay. Uh, marker, marker, marker. How can I have lost my marker track? I've lost my marker track. No, come on. Okay, there they are. Hello, markers. Oh, wonder when you were going to come along. Right, okay, so here we go. So now, okay, I think there's a way of getting the markers to come up in the... Ah, this is really irritating. I've forgotten how to do it. Um, okay, so look, there's the first one's fine. Second one's a, bit, uh, uh, a little bit late. I could do it. There's any number of ways I can do this. This is not the way I intended to do it because I've forgotten how to get markers to come up inside the editor. Um, but you can do it this way, and that hits three. You know, by hit a dead hit, we mean within two frames, uh, which is about uh, depending on which side of the Atlantic you are, uh, a twelfth of a second. So this will now look in time. It's, is it absolutely bound? Yeah, it is pretty well, actually, to be absolutely honest. And then you can adjust that. Um, so now we have him falling downstairs and everything is great. Uh, where is... Uh, do, 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 do. That last one needs to be held for longer. Uh, it's a bit short. There you go. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to our uh, what we got going on up here. Um, where's that first bit of uh, synth? Right. No, that, that's needs to be a bit subtler than that. Okay. Now we're going to have... Where's that um, trombone gone? Now, 
Oh, it's got, it's got looped on it. Okay. Not if it's happening to me. Okay, there you go. Sequence done. So let's look at it from the front. Choo! We gotta do something. Here we go. You simply must do something, Ernest. It's just a little cold, Prince Cracker. Ah, it's King Cracker to you, peasant. And it's not just a little cold. Yahoo! Not if it's happening to me. That's it. There you go. That's all you have to, uh, to do. <laughs> okay. Now, um, in uh, our course, How to Score Films, we do give you a piece of animation to have a go at, as well as a number of other films and things like that. But look, the purpose of today's little Christmas stocking, uh, opening your musical advent calendar, is to allow you to get into all this kind of stuff. And so if you, um, first of all, we're going to be doing this every day up to Christmas. So first of all, make sure you're subscribed and then you'll get notifications and the rest of it. And secondly, give us your name and address and we'll email you a link to the video tutorials and a, a piece of movie which you can have a go at. So this, there's never been a better time given that you haven't got as many friends and family around you as possible and uh, you are sitting there at Christmas thinking, what am I going to do? Start scoring films because it's just... It's really good fun. You don't need much kit. You know, you can do it in, in, a, in pretty much any uh, door, uh, Reaper, uh, FL, any, of the, any door. Uh, but I use Cubase. Cubase and Logic are the most popular. So look, I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope that's helped lift your spirits if you're feeling a bit kind of, eh, where's my Christmas gone? It's Christmas postponed. So we're celebrating Notmus, not Christmas, okay? Notmus. So um, uh, a very many Notmus to you. And I'll be back tomorrow with uh, yet another video tutorial and more Christmas presents for you. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.